Hey guys, it's Chris here at Pi Supply. In today's unboxing video, we're gonna take a look at the Ryan Tech motor controller board. Uh, so this was designed by Ryan Wormsley, who used to own Ryan Tech. Uh, Ryan Tech's now part of the Pi Supply brand. Uh, so this is basically a motor controller board. Uh, you can connect and control two motors using the Raspberry Pi. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we've got inside. So first up, we've got some uh, cool stickers here. We've got the uh, Pi Supply logo there. Uh, we've got the Ryan Tech logo. We've also got another Pi Supply sticker there as well. Um, so we've got a welcome card by Pi Supply. Um, on the reverse side, it's got some information on uh, some of the web links. Um, so if you want to go to the website and check that out, you can do. Uh, so let's take a look at the main board itself. Um, so this is based on the Texas Instruments uh, SN754410NE. Um, so this is a very common uh, motor controller chip. Uh, all we've done is attach it to a breakout board, which was designed by Ryan. Um, as you can see, it's got some screw terminals on. Um, so you've got one for the power, which is here. Uh, so you can connect um, up to 12 volts, uh, we recommend up to 12 volts maximum and one amp power supply. Uh, so you could run it off batteries if you want to drive the motors. Um, the chip will get its power, uh, back power through the Raspberry Pi. And then you can connect your motors uh, to the other two terminals here. So you'll be able to drive them in a clockwise and clockwise direction. Um, so this is kind of cool if you've got like a mini robotic project with two, two robot wheels. Uh, so you'll be able to sort of spin it in any direction and move forwards and backwards, etc. Um, not only this, uh, we've broken out some of the GPIO pins um, on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so you'll still be able to connect all your sensors and uh, various other bits to your robotic project. Um, so to connect it to the Raspberry Pi, uh, it'll work on any Raspberry Pi, even the old 26-way uh, 20, pin. Um, all you need to do is just simply connect it, uh, making sure it goes on uh, the first pins here. Uh, just slide it on and then push it as far as it can go all the way down. And that is the motor controller board assembled onto the Raspberry Pi. Um, so if you have any questions about this or you want to find out some more information, you can drop us a comment below or you can visit the website at piesupply.com. Thanks very much for watching and until next time, I'll see you then guys.